and welcome to Living in Color with Tatiana Lewis. Tatiana, tell us a little bit. Uh, well, let me thank you, first of all, for being on the show. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thank you for inviting me. It's yes, a pleasure. It's wonderful to have you on, and uh, you're, you're so beauty, beautiful and you. uh, vibrant. And, and tell us a little bit about uh, what you do. Well, um, Tamara, let me ask you a question. Um, have you ever wanted to make a powerful first impression? Of course. Yes. Have you ever had important business function or social events to go to and you wanted to look your absolute best but you had no idea what to wear? Of course, many times. <laughs> or even did you have, do you have days when you stare at everything you have in your closet and yet you feel like there's absolutely nothing to wear? Definitely, yes. And we all have experiences like that mm -hmm. and I help solve these issues. Nice. So what I do is I help my clients to elevate their image and uh, make sure that they get all the respect and recognition they deserve by helping them to wear the colors and the styles that support and suit them the most. Nice, nice. And um, what does it mean to um, have a personalized color? Uh, um, when it comes to styling your clients, because everybody really suits and resonates with a certain mm -hmm. color, uh, much like interior um, nice. decorating and the, the stuff that I do on the walls. So tell me, in, in your business, um, what does it mean to have a personalized color? Well, um, color analysis, I would say, is probably the most important step in elevating your image. Um, the results that my clients get from recognizing what the colors are are truly profound. Mm -hmm. It makes a huge difference mm -hmm. to know what your colors are, what complements you, and also to know what not to wear, uh, what colors sabotage you. Mm -hmm. um, when you, a lot of us, well, a lot of people, I would say majority of people, tend to wear colors that they either attracted to, so the colors they just like on the hanger and they buy it and they wear it. Uh -huh. Or they go for black, which is considered to be a safe color to wear. Yes. And uh, people think, well, it goes with everything, it matches everything, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. However, uh, far from everyone looks good in black. And that's why I'm not a believer in the little black dress idea, <laughs> because I don't think your dress has to be black or has to be little. Mm -hmm. uh, your dress has to be the size that it needs to be for you, and it also has to be in the right color. And mm -hmm. that's when you will stand out. Mm -hmm. If everyone wears a little black dress, we'll all just blend in with the crowd. <laughs> uh, having said that, some people do look stunning in black, but it has to be your color. Mm -hmm. When you wear colors that are not right on you. Um, usually you look less healthy, your complexion looks more sallow. Um, sometimes it almost looks awkward. You see, it's almost like the head is cut off. You can see the head is standing on top of the outfit. Right. And that's how you know that it's not the person's true color. Mm -hmm. And when you do wear your colors, it's the opposite. You look healthier, you look more vibrant, mm -hmm. you look radiant, mm -hmm. uh, your eyes sparkle, uh, your teeth might look whiter. Mm -hmm. uh, and the most important thing, there is a flow and harmony between your face and your outfit. Mm -hmm. And aside from uh, using your colors in clothing, I also suggest to my clients to use their colors uh, in their promotional materials, like their... Uh, website or business cards. The logos and if there's marketing. exactly yes. if there's your if you put your photo on your business card on your website, you want to make sure that the background and anything around your face is in your palette. Right. It does right. make a huge difference. So is would blue be your color? Absolutely. Because you're wearing <laughs> such a stunning dress today. Thank you. Yes. Very, it looks very nice on color. you and, and to see that with your your uh, complexion and your makeup, because you do makeup as well. Yes, I and do. And she yes. does a lovely job here today. <laughs> um, but wearing, um, you know, is blue your color? Could you show us maybe a little bit about um, how you pick your colors for your clients? Absolutely. So I do have a special professional kit with um, a different colored fabric drapes. I have a sp full spectrum lighting that I use, full length mirror. Um, and I do have quite a few tools. And just to give you an example, let's say, we call this color flags and they come in different color palettes so i just brought okay. two i brought cool and warm just to show you and myself okay it. great 
So that's just like a quick way to tell at least if someone is uh, cool or warm. Right. I definitely go more in depth with my clients, but mm -hmm. just to give you an idea. Okay, so wonderful. So by looking at me, I'm sure you you can tell which one suits me more. Yes, yes. Actually, I would so. probably go with probably this side, the cooler side. Exactly. Okay. But you can see the difference. Like if I put these colors that warm close to my face, mm -hmm versus let's say the blues mm -hmm. can you see how my face is affected like Definitely. can you see yes. the difference yes so um these are just one of the few things i use to determine your color and we'll look at everything we'll look at your eye color we'll look at your natural hair color mm -hmm. uh at your skin tone eye pattern so there's so much involved amazing and i have never heard of anybody doing this this type of work <laughs> so you must be like a, 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 your own niche you know market coming out with um the, the color psychology in what you do and, and interior decorating as well. It has a lot to do with, with health and wellness and, and, you know, bringing your best foot forward. You Absolutely. Know? And uh, since you mentioned health and wellness, um, when you wear your colors, they actually support you energetically as well. Mm. That's why I even buy socks in my color. I mean, even though <laughs> no one might see them, yes. but I want for whatever it is I put on my body to support me. Right. So when you wear your true colors, they do support you and they complement you, mm -hmm. as opposed to colors that are not yours, that, that can sabotage you. Right. Oh, good. Uh, Tatiana, can you tell me a little bit about your background and how you got into uh, doing the image consultant and uh, personalized colors for your clients? Sure. Um, I actually started in makeup, so I worked in the cosmetic industry for over 13 years. So I always enjoyed makeup um, and just anything that would make people more beautiful. Mm -hmm. However, I also saw significance in what people wore. So I wanted to incorporate clothing and makeup. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to college for two years, uh, studied fashion. Uh, anything that had to do with fashion from the back end, which is buying and merchandising to makeup and image consulting. Right. And image consulting was my absolutely favorite course. It resonated with me so much that I decided, you know what, that's what I want to do. I felt so much passion for it. Mm -hmm. And um, a few years ago, I decided to start my own image consulting business. And um, that, that's what I do. So now I do both. I do image consulting and I do makeup. Amazing. And how long have you been in business for now? Uh, with uh, makeup, it's been over 13 years. Wow. Yeah. Good, good. And owning your own company? That's been a few years. So yes. It's, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Lots of tough work involved in that. Uh, there yeah. is, yes. Yeah. You don't realize it going in, but yes. I wouldn't have it any other way. I, Amazing. You know, I feel like I follow my path now. I love what I do. I'm excited to do it every single time I do it. So it's, you know... Good. It's all worth it. Good. And where can people find you? Where where can your audience find you to to get your services or to stay in contact? What is the best kind of way to, to reach you? Well, my website, mm -hmm. uh, which is truepotentialimage.ca. Okay. Uh, and all my information is there as well as my Facebook page uh, that's also called True Potential Image. Facebook and, is everywhere. Uh, it's where you get a hold of it people. It is the easiest, <laughs> yes. yes, I guess, way to connect with anyone. Yes. Um, and um, so anyone can feel free to email me or give me a call and we'll be happy to talk about what I can do for you. Amazing. Now, when you are with your clients and they, they hire you for your services, what types of things can your clients take away with them to, to help them through the process? Because, I mean, you can't be there for them all the time. <laughs> so what could they take away from, from learning about your, your business and your services? Well, um, my service is a four-step process. Okay. First is color analysis, which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. The second step, also very important, is body and style analysis that I do for my clients. And that's where I look at everything that you have going on on your body, your mm -hmm. height, your weight, your features, absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. And we'll also talk about your personality because personality is equally important when it comes to sure style. Yes. I could have identical twins who look exactly the same, but I likely put them in different outfits just because their personality is different. Right. And I truly believe that our image on the outside has to match our deeper selves. Mm -hmm. It has to resonate with our inner selves. Mm -hmm. 
and so then I give you a very detailed report about what styles you should wear. A next step is wardrobe planning where we go through your closet and by now we know what it is you should be wearing and should not be wearing right. and uh, we plan accordingly and uh, we make a list of things we need to buy. And that's where we talk about your lifestyle, your career and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we make a shopping list and step number four is we're going shopping together. Oh wow. And then mm -hmm. yes. And Sounds like fun. <laughs> it is. It always <laughs> is. Every single step is fun. It, right. It's all about having fun mm -hmm. and uh, exploring together. Mm -hmm. And for my female clients, I also offer another service which is makeup lessons. Mm -hmm. So not only makeovers mm -hmm. that I do for special occasions like what I did today for you, mm -hmm. but um, I actually love uh, teaching my female clients how to do their own makeup. Mm -hmm. So I we use the same colors and makeup as we do for clothing. So okay. we already know their colors. Mm -hmm. And then I talk to them about skincare because I'm an expert in that as well. Mm -hmm. I teach them how to do their day look, their night look, how to accentuate their features, wow. hide imperfection, things like that. So at the end of the day, I empower them how to do their own makeup. Mm -hmm. Amazing. If you could uh, give our audience maybe a few tips on uh, when it comes to maybe doing their makeup or, or dressing themselves, what kind of tips would you um, give our audience? Sure, I'd love to. Well, uh, tip number one, that's for women, but it's something that I feel is very important to know. I call it, your color is easy color, which means when you're trying an outfit on and you're deciding if the color looks good on you or not, try it on without any makeup on your face. And if you see that the color still looks good on you and there's a harmony and flow even though you have no makeup on, mm -hmm. that's likely to be either your color or at least color close to that. Okay. However, if you look at the color and you say, hmm, it's too bright on me, well, if I put red lipstick on and do smoky eye and you know put some jewelry on, I'll make it work. Mm -hmm. That's not your color. You should not have to do anything to make color work for you. Okay. Your color will always work for you. Great. Um, tip number two would be um, let your body be your guide. Mm -hmm. And that's about style. So when you choose styles for yourself, follow your body. If you're tall, uh, if wear long styles, if you petite, wear short styles, if you big bone, have strong bone structure, wear things that are bigger and heavier, if you have delicate structure, wear smaller, lighter things, okay. uh, if you're curvy, uh, wear things that flow and hug your curves, if you're more straight, wear things that are more tailored. So you always follow your body and you don't go against it. Amazing. And one more tip would be body language. Um, Body language and facial expressions tell people more about us sure than what we actually say. <laughs> so it's very important to be aware of your body language and your yes. facial expressions. Now, what you wear may affect your body language, believe mm -hmm. it or not. So when you wear a business suit, your body language becomes more business oriented. Mm -hmm. And that might persuade people to build business connections with you more. Right. So it's not what, so much what you say as important as it is, it's also how you present yourself. Right. Or if you say you're in a personal romantic situation, if you go on a date, if you wear things that are sexier and more playful, your body language will likely be like that as well. Yeah, you loosen up a little Shit. bit. <laughs> Good. So that's a great th three tips that uh, that the audience can use. I noticed that you uh, brought a little um, booklet here. Can oh, you yes. tell us a little bit about? What so this is? that's why I call it color wallet. It's a personal palette that my clients get after I do their color analysis. And if you'd like to show absolutely. The, yeah. So what it is, and everyone gets the one in their colors. Mm -hmm. So let's say that this one is mine. Okay. And you have fabric swatches in your colors. Okay. And you can take it shopping with you. So they can't go shopping with me every single time. Yeah. So whenever they go on their own, they just bring it with them and it's for clothing and makeup. Oh, wow. And so let's say if you're looking to buy purple, you just open the pages with purple swatches and you put it next to the outfit and you see if it's your color or not. So that's very handy. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so when it comes to the personalized color, um, what do you find uh, maybe is the most, how do you say, the most, um, 
the best colors, the, the most colors that people fall into categories. Like I know with interior decorating, there's four different categories, um, winter, autumn, fall, and winter, um, with different tints and tones. Um, so when you um, are with a client, what do you find is probably the most um, used color? Is it a warm color? Is it a darker color? Does it really depend on... Um, it's uh, when it comes to personalized color, we have a lot more options, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I use 16 palettes. Oh, wow. So just like you said, there are four main ones, which are your seasons, winter, summer, right. autumn, and spring. And years ago, that's what it used to be for fashion as well. There were only four, but then at some point they realized, the color analysis have realized that it's just not enough. Like mm -hmm. you can't really take entire population <clears throat> and divide them into four color categories. Right. So many people fall, fall in between. Mm -hmm. So then they added extra palettes in between. So there's a palette in between summer and winter, right. or, you know, autumn and spring and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, so at the end we ended up with 16 palettes. Mm -hmm. And so it is very, very personalized and it takes me from an hour to an hour and a half, I guess, yes. with special lighting and special props to figure out what your exact coloring is. Mm -hmm. And I would say, like, there are some palettes that are more rare than others. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple that are more rare. But um, I had clients in all kinds of palettes, mm -hmm. I would say warm, cool, um, yes. And does your business relate to um, health and wellness? Um, like, could you get into the, uh, that a little bit more with the health and wellness and how people wear the colors, what it makes them feel like when they are wearing these colors? Well, mm -hmm. like I mentioned, when you do wear your colors, you feel supported mm -hmm. and you actually definitely look healthier. Yes. Like, it's quite profound when, and my clients see that because there's a full length mirror in front of them when I'm doing the color analysis. Right. So when they see the difference, like just what I showed in myself, when you I put their color on one side and the color that maybe they like to wear but is not theirs on the other side, mm -hmm. they see it all for themselves. They see huge difference. Your eyes literally sparkle. Yes. Like it always make, makes me giggle when I see that. When their <laughs> eyes just light up yeah. when I put their color next to them. Yes. So to me, that's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. When oh, your yes. eyes sparkle, there's no way you'll feel sad. Well, just seeing you in the blue with your your blue eyes, you know, you do just sparkle everywhere you go. And um, I would highly re recommend um, using Tatiana's services and and getting a, an image consultant. I really think color means the world. And, um, you know, we really need to balance ourselves with health and wellness when it does come to color. So I thank you so much, Tatiana, for coming on the show. Thank you, Tamara. So it's much. been such a pleasure. Thank you so <laughs> much. You. And uh, till next time, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>